April 17th, Easter Sunday. Initially, Hamisi and Klaus had started their morning drive on Cusini Plains in the far west of the NCA, but to no avail. And so they decided to head south to Macau Plains. Minutes after their arrival, Hamisi spotted two nomadic male lions stalking a lone wildebeest. A wildebeest that was obviously injured. No wonder it was left behind by its herd. Two sub-adult lions versus a single limping antelope. Perfect conditions for a successful hunt, one might think. Hamisi's task now was to find the perfect position for his vehicle, not too close to prey and predators to avoid warning the former and scaring off the latter, but also not too far away, since they did not want to miss out on the action that was surely to come, wasn't it? With a strong wind blowing, I had trouble keeping my camera steady, especially with the zoom lens on 24 magnification. A few minutes later, Amici had parked the Land Cruiser in a straight line behind the wildebeest and the lions. Under normal circumstances, the perfect position. Once the lions decided to start their attack, I would be able to film them in a 90 degree angle exactly from the front. Unfortunately, on this Easter Sunday, the circumstances were not normal. The lions waited too long, and the wildebeest ran away. Not very fast, what with a limping leg, but nevertheless, the hunt was over before it had even really started. What a bummer. We were so close. Me, I was really frustrated. Hamisi, not so much. He decided it was a good time to have our breakfast break. The lions may not have had their meal, but he could surely have his. Our protagonists started to muse what had gone wrong. Was it them, their noise and smell that had spooked the wildebeest? Or was it the inexperience of the lions? Lions that were obviously still quite young and alien to this area. Maybe it was them and not the antelope who were not yet familiar with the sounds and odor of humans and their machines. Futile thoughts, as it turned out, because all of a sudden the lions decided to give it a second try and... Indeed. This time, no missing. Go. Yeah, I see. Fight. Yes. Go. Yeah, go, go, go. Of course, the fight was not particularly fair. An injured wildebeest without the protection of a herd against two healthy male lions in their prime. But no one ever said life was fair. Certainly not on the savannas of Africa. In any case, Klaus and Hamisi were happy. Happy on Easter.
What struck me was how peaceful the cats were with each other. Sure, the wildebeest carcass was large enough to feed two lions, even for days. But in my experience, that doesn't mean anything. Friendship among lions always ends when they eat, regardless of whether they killed a rabbit or an elephant. 